Hey guys, this is Chris from DNG RMS Photography and um, this is a quick screen flow just to go through some of the photos that I've captured for the weekend of, what weekend was it, 20, no it wasn't, it was the 1st and 2nd of October and um, for the fronosphoto.com forum. Um, the theme this week, as I'm sure most of you will know, was round and um, I've been promising uh, one of the girls that I coach, um, a tennis coach, uh, one of the girls that I coach, I've been promising her mum some photos for uh, a few weeks now, so I thought I'd take the opportunity today, well, Saturday as it was, uh, to pop down and take some photos of little Chloe. Um, got a few of her, uh, it was quite a challenging shoot, uh, mainly due to um, the camera that I was using, um, it was struggling a little bit in the low light and uh, the lenses I had available but I thought I got some uh, pretty good shots and uh, we'll just go through, I'd just like to go through and uh, show you the shots that I took and then the ultimately the uh, ones that will end up on the forum for the weekend theme. So if we pop to Lightroom now, we've got, this is Chloe, uh, she's uh, nearly 10, I think she is 10, she's 10 years old and uh, she's been playing tennis since she was 4, I've coached her since she was 4, she's a very, very good player, she's looking really good now. And um, we've got quite a number of photos here um, and they also verge into some badminton shots as well because after I'd finished these photos with Chloe, um, the badminton county championships, so the, the state championships as it were, uh, as it would be in America, uh, the county championships was on on the town club as well, so I went and took some photographs there, some incredible badminton being shot there. So if we just have a look at these, uh, you will see that they were shot at 1 60th of a second. Uh, at f5, this was with the kit lens, the 1855mm, uh, on the D3100, um, at ISO 800. Now, it's an indoor court, uh, there's lots of um, fluorescent lights, uh, there's one big window on the right hand side over here that goes all the way down the length of the court but it wasn't really providing much light so I had to pump the ISO up um, purely because uh, the shutter speed is obviously really really important you can see shooting at 1 1 60th here you still get quite a bit of blur from the uh, from the racket and the ball as she's hitting so I was really looking to bump it up and now you'll see I've bumped the ISO to 1600 uh, there's, there's starting to get a little bit of noise going in here and obviously I've missed the focus a little bit I think um, but you're starting to get quite a bit of noise in there, but the, the, the photos themselves look pretty good once you've done a bit of, a bit of developing, so you'll see I've bumped it up to 1 200th, uh, I've stepped in a little bit, so I've managed to drop the drop the focus to 32mm, um, and, and I'm shooting at 4.8 on the lens now, so letting a little bit more light in, I thought I'd uh, try, to, try to squeeze as much light in as I could, uh, and as we go through here you'll see Start the four hundredth of a second now. Still, she's still trying. To, she's still swinging this racket at quite a rate of knots at uh, two one two hundredth of a second. So, moving it up through three two hundred, um, all the way up to this is four hundredth now. Now you can see we're starting to get some Christmas out of these photos. So from here, loading this one up in the library. Um, you'll see the focus is is on here. Uh, it's, it is on her face. I was focusing on on Chloe when we were taking the shots but you can see the noise coming in there. Uh, one thing I was struggling at a little bit is the composition um, because the uh, because the D3100 has limited uh, focal points I was trying to set the focus over on this side um, but it was struggling to photo, uh, struggling to photo, struggling to focus quickly enough uh, so I moved it onto the centre uh, with the with the intention as I started developing to be able to crop, crop out. Um, I know Jared doesn't like cropping. Um, I've, I'm in a, it's a bit of a uh, quandary here. Uh, do I, do I photograph the best photograph I can, uh, and then crop in, uh, knowing that knowing that I'm, 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 I am able to crop in to improve the composition, um, but without the composition, or sorry, without the photo uh, that shooting from the central focal point makes, um, I wouldn't have a photo. So, um, as Jared was saying, it's a phrase that I do like, it is what it is, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the photo, to be fair. So, uh, this, some of this, this isn't the best one that came out of the out of the shoot, and if we scan along here, we're still 400th of a second. Sorry, that was a great, great facial expression from Chloe. Still ISO 1600, and this is where we get to when we're starting to 
go through a little bit of processing. There's a lot of tennis balls down here. I, I quite like those, leaving those in. Uh, I love the contrast and the colour out of this. And if you zoom in, you'll see there's still a little bit of. I mean, the focus is crisp and sharp on on Chloe. Um, it's, it's nice and crisp around here, um, but you'll start seeing a little bit of the ISO coming through and the noise coming through here. Uh, 1600 again. Uh, still at 4.8. That's uh, 32 mil. And um, if we keep going through. It's time to get towards the the end of Chloe's photos. But, uh, she really enjoyed it. Uh, this was changing the angle, trying to get a little bit of the net in as well. And I thought if I could come around this side, I might be able to use a little bit of the natural light as well. Didn't really work, unfortunately. This was at 55 mil, so the aperture was quite quite uh, small, and this one was 5.6. Um, but still at 400th of a second, so it was just struggling to get the exposure right on these ones. So I'll pop back. Uh, I did a few from in front of the net, just a little bit closer, uh, and then we've got some of her serving as well. So obviously, natural light coming in here from the side, you're starting to get a little bit more clear and clarity, and uh, still shooting at 1600, uh, 400 of a second, you're starting to see a little bit of a blur because obviously the serve is one of the fastest shots. Uh, come to come to something even more challenging in a second in terms of fast shots, uh, and. Got the last one here. This is again it's trouble with the serve. Is where do you shoot it from? Do you shoot it from? Do you shoot it from this side where the natural light is coming in from from uh, behind you to light her up, uh, but then risking losing her face with the arm, or do you pop around the other side where, in which case, you're shooting almost into the shadows, but then you get her face as well. Um, I kept on this side, uh, and the one that I use. This is the one that I. Uh, Finally, I believe, finally used uh, just because you've got a little bit of focus here on her eyes on, up onto the ball up there. Okay, so that's the one we use. And then, obviously, going through to the badminton, um, this is one of the little lads that I coach tennis. He's hugely talented, he's only four. Uh, he's a very, very talented and very coordinated little lad, and he plays badminton as well, or he, he did today. I got a badminton racket out, and his dad was throwing him some shuttlecocks. So, we got some photos of him. This is the county championships or the state championships as you would know it in the background and looking across this is one of the better ones and then the final glory shot shuttlecock on the racket focus of the eyes right up there on the racket brilliant shot I love that shot little Sam that's gone to his uh, his parents and uh, I think that's I believe that one has gone up onto his wall um, right now to the challenging photo so you can see here we're still at 1600 ICO uh, ISO ICO ISO we're still at 1 400th of a second uh, and I'm shooting at 22 mil so that I can get the f-stop as as wide as I can so I'm shooting at 4 and as we go in now these are some of the shots that we got from the actual championships um, this is Nick and he's one of my friends who plays down there uh, he's very very talented but you'll see as we get on um, some of the challenging things. This is Lee as well right now. This is uh, He's an ex-Olympic squad member at Badminton and his smash is at 200 miles an hour. He smashes the shuttlecock at over 200 miles an hour. Um, and if you look at the lens information here, I've actually swapped over to the 50mm. Um, and obviously the 50mm, I've only got the D version. Uh, I managed to get one of these. Um, but on the D3100, manual focus unfortunately so I was having to be very very quick um, I went as far away as I could so I filled the filled the frame from there um, out as far as I could so it would, it would take a, a minimal amount of focusing to uh, try and get the photos crisp a um, bit of a challenge but really really good fun to try uh, and you'll see we've been able to drop the ISO to 800 I was shooting at 3.2 uh, and I do pop that up a little bit, uh, that was to try and give my focal plane as long as I could. And if we go through here, a few of them you'll see the, the focus is still pretty crisp on here, you start getting some noise in. Uh, background hugely distracting, wasn't too happy, so after a while I swapped over and was shooting against this back background, so all the players on the back background I couldn't get the focus. No, I couldn't get the background to blow out, and I couldn't get any bokeh because uh, the focal range was so far. Um, but this is uh, Christian, very, very good player as well. He's smashing up to up to uh, 200 miles an hour, and it is quite a challenge to get a photo with a shuttlecock in. And I'll show you something interesting as we towards we get to, uh, as we get to the end of these. 
and uh, we'll just flick through quite quickly. Really annoyed that I've cut his foot off here, and um, far too much space above his head. I should have been quicker on the composition on that one. Um, still shooting at 3.2, uh, just to give me that range on the focusing, um, manual focusing. And here again, look, this is 400th of a second, and you're getting a big blur from that shuttlecock. And uh, shoot through. Now, this is on the other courts. We've got slightly more background separation on the top, um, but again, I was quite tight down here. You can see how challenging it is on a landscape photo to try and get the shuttlecock and the feet in the photo. If we run through these quite quickly. It's a great little snap. Background annoyingly uh, distracting again. Um, try to get a few of the matches in play. That's a that's a Good. Always, always try and say in uh, sports photography, you try and capture them at the height of physical exertion, sort of thing. So that's that's quite a smart little shot. Um, it'd be great if I if I was able to blow that uh, background out. Um, three point two shot at three point two. Again, just for for the focus challenge, uh, trying to keep the trying to keep them in focus. And you can see it is it is pretty sharp. I was quite pleased with that. That's pretty sharp upon upon him himself. Uh, four hundredth of a second. That's getting crisp. A lot of movement on that racket. Uh, so let's scoot through these quite quickly now. Again, annoyed I cut his foot off, um, but not too worried because the shuttlecock is quite. Um, it doesn't really stand out against his leg there. So if, if it would have been better if it was up against the blue. A bit of contrast. And uh, again, if I was going to reshoot this, I would far prefer it to be tight here and then have some space down at the bottom. But not to worry, it is what it is on that photo. So again, some fantastic facial expressions from Nick. And uh, we'll scoot through some of these. Getting towards the end, and again it's this background again which is starting to get uh, distracting. That would have been fantastic against the back background because you'll see some of the s slower shots. You can get a really crisp focus on the rackets. Um, so that would have been fantastic with a with a either blown out background or or a background like the the green drop um, drop that you find at the back of the courts. So that was that was slightly frustrating that I got such a crisp shot, um, but with the wrong focus on the background. And um, you'll see now I've moved up to five hundredth of a second, uh, and I've just bumped the f stop to two point eight. Um, I thought I'd try and try and increase the shutter speed um, and. Take the aperture, open the aperture up a little bit to try and compensate, knowing that I would have to be absolutely spot on with the focus. And you'll see here, missed it by a mile. What's actually in focus on this photo? It looks to be something around these far tram lines here. So I missed the focus by a good six foot. Um, not good, not particularly happy about that. Uh, and as we start going a little bit further into these, you'll see that the focus starts getting a bit crisper. We've got 2.8 here, and now I've got the Got the idea of the, of the range and, and where I was on these. So now we start getting together a few of the better photos coming through. Again, you can see the crisp, crisp focus on the on the face, and you start getting you look at that angle of the racket as he's hitting that ball. The flex in that racket, fantastic. Uh, still shooting at ISO 800, and possibly could have put, bumped it to 1600, but uh, I was quite happy with the photos I was getting as I was checking quickly. Brilliant. Here we go now. Starting to get the timing. Obviously, shooting tennis and badminton. I'm a, t I'm a tennis coach. Played tennis for, well, why am I now 31? Been playing tennis for 29 years now, so uh, I've I've got the idea of shooting tennis. But badminton is so much quicker. It took me a while to get the timing right, and uh, I'd be shooting a picture and oh, bother missed the shuttlecock because just a split second too slow or too fast. Here we go. So we're getting the the one that we all go for. Shuttlecock on the racket. Brilliant. That was one that uh, I processed a little bit, uh, thinking that uh, that might be one of the stronger photos to send in for the weekend theme, uh, but uh, that, that didn't turn out because we've got a cracker coming up. Uh, here we go again, we're starting to get that uh, shuttlecock on the racket. As soon as you play these slower shots, you get more of a chance to really capture that action. That's a drop shot, so when you go down for a drop shot, you really get down as low as you can and to... Uh, to hold your balance sort of thing, you'll get into this position before he jumps back up. So uh, it would have been nice again to have a, a shuttlecock in and here and have been able to blow out that background. Um, it's, it's, it is what it is as it was. Uh, it's a, the white background would have been better if it was darker uh, for a bit of contrast, but maybe if I'd changed my 
uh, viewing position, so I was shooting it, shooting it from a little bit further over this way, so I was shooting against that green. That would have been uh, pretty good. Um, thinking about that, actually, it would have been quite good if I'd got underneath the net there, so shot underneath and the net being up at the top, that would have been quite cool. Uh, here we go again, so we've got a great action shot, shuttlecock in view, brilliant. I don't know whether this is cropped, I believe it is, yes, there we go, so that was cropped from, from the full image. Um, ISO 800. Um, I was more than happy to 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 get the photo, uh, and then crop it down to this. Uh, these are probably going to be used on uh, Lee's website. Uh, so again, quality, screen quality. So that, that that's pretty pretty good for a screen quality photo. I would I would well I'd hope. Um, I'm I'm quite happy with it from from what I was able to use to get the shots. So. There we go, and another one again. Start, you can see I'm going to start getting, getting the timing a lot better now. We've got it in midair with the shuttlecock in, in frame. Uh, slightly distracting over here. Would have been better if I was able to shoot that portrait possibly. Um, or again, shot from further over to the left to really in, uh, incorporate the net as well into the, into the frame. Here we go, now this is cropped. This is cropped in here. Um, can I improve the crop? I don't think it would improve if I put him down the corner. Uh, would it improve if I had the net in? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe it does give a little bit of something. Uh, I might leave it there with the net. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Um, unfortunately, Nick lost the match, which resulted in that. I'm really annoyed that I didn't get them focus, uh, and I did literally just miss the golden shot of him taking it over his knee. Um, so that would have been a great shot, but I did miss a focus on that. Uh, manual focus on that was was tough. Uh, he then picked it up and, and cleared off quite quickly. So quite cross that I missed the focus on that one to make a great little shot. Uh, right, and this is the men's singles semi-finals. A guy called John Bishop, single specialist, very very good. He's about 38, 39 now, and he's been playing for a long, long time. So he's a very very clever player. Uh, knows his way around the court very very well. And he was playing my good friend Lee. Um, here we go. So facial expression. You see, I started to get the the hang of the focus. The focus is pretty crisp on that. Very pleased with that. Um, that's the shot you couldn't believe that uh, John played. Uh, and now we've started to get some of the better shots coming in against the back background. Uh, taking a step, we've got some flares and reflections down here. Just taking a step to my left, just to really make sure I was getting this back back black uh, different green back. A uh, green background behind the players as they were playing, and uh, here we go. I think I just missed the focus on this one. Where's the focus? The focus is on his back foot hook, so I missed the focus by maybe a foot, two foot, something like that. Um, but I actually quite like the shot. Is it cropped? Yes, it is. Um, I quite like the shot in terms of showing a bit of context uh, and something else in the in the in the frame. Two hours of shooting. And I managed to get one photo of Lee with the shuttlecock on the racket. Two hours. He smashes, like I say, he smashes at 200 miles an hour, and I cannot get close. Um, it took a long, long time to get it on here. And you'll see, um, I, this was at, uh, obviously, it's a 50 mils, a fixed prime. Uh, shot at 2.8, four, 400 of a second. I've, I've bought the drop the uh, shutter speed back down again to try and get some, some action shots and some, some movement. Um, yeah, really annoyed that I missed that one. That was a pretty much a split second. Always going to hit this one and pull the camera up and and snap the snap the shutter. Um, it wouldn't have been a it wouldn't have been a great photo if I had got it in in frame. Um, his his legs are quite quite static. Uh, his his arms quite static. That literally the best thing as as you saw from from the crop that I just did. Uh, the best thing about this. Is that there? That contact point there. So, which is why that crop pulled in. Um, uh, it's it's not too bad. Here we go. Didn't quite get to that. that. Uh, nice little smash. Wasn't quite quick enough to get to pull that one up. Uh, ready position. Uh, it's ready uh, receiving the serve there. We'll scoot through some of these. Uh, nice little shot. I quite like that. I, might, I would actually quite like to crop that and take off if we take that out. Just take off that advertising. Hate that. So to possibly turn it into a square shot. Uh, turn it square. There you go. Uh, don't like that advertising up at the top. Love the uh, love the fact that these are in here and they're not touching that racket. So I was quite lucky. Um, 
was annoyed that I've cut that off, and that is Sarah in the background there. She's playing her ladies' single semi final as well. Uh, so if we scoot on down, uh, stretch for a drop shot. Why he had to get into that photo? Ah, really, really good. Um, he's got great hands around down at the net, Lee. So that's uh, a little drop. It's almost a fake shot, so he's going to look like he's going to play it cross court, and he's just flicking it back on the far side. Um, and then we've got some of these as well. Um, I've actually missed. Where's the where's the glory shot? Actually missed a glory shot. So just played a few of these. That's focus on the top, and that's focus on the feathers down here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly flip back because the one that I've, the one that, da -da -da -da, let's go to all of them. See, I did take an awful lot. Here's the one. So that's the one that um, was literally the last shot of the day that Lee played. This was the match-winning smash that he hit. Um, I'm really, really pleased that I did actually manage to get one shot of him. And this is what I was saying, the, the, the one earlier where he was looking quite static. This is hit. Now we've got some movement. Now we've got some height of exertion. Okay, so so the the, the, the curve in his body, the racket up here, the shuttlecock hanging, it really wants you to, really making you want to reach up and hit that. Um, if I was being super critical um, of myself on here, I, it, it would have been nice to have his arm coming out. Uh, have one of these legs curled up because as they're jumping up, these legs really curl up and, 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 and un, uh, unfurl, un, uncoil as they're uh, hitting the smash. So it would have been nice to have this leg just coming out a little bit. Um, I, I don't think I cropped this much. Nope, didn't crop that much at all. Uh, just cut out if I, if, you, if I extend this a little bit. Just got these um, beams and stuff in the, in the top. So I just literally just cropped those out. Uh, but that's the shot of the day for me. Uh, that's one that will go in for the Frono's photo um, weekend theme. That'll be one of them. Uh, I'm going to put in the shuttlecock picture as well, just so that people know that this is a round photo, as it were. Um, and cup of tea. Hang on. Ah, a lot of talking. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you. Um, maybe took something out of this. Uh, shooting badminton's quite <laughs> tough as I found out um, but from this I have actually got uh, a gig down at um, one of the next uh, badminton championships which is taking place in a month or so. Uh, so I've got to go and take some photos down there as well which is really, really good so I was quite pleased that I stopped around and took some photos of this. I uh, hope you all like them and uh, if you would like to leave a comment on here to tell me uh, what I th what you thought I could have done better, or, or what you thought I did well, uh, that'd be great. Um, and I shall see you on the photo.com forum. Thank you very much, guys. This is Chris at DNG RMS Photography, and uh, take care. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.